Britain's Got Talent fans were left in tears by Ant McPartland's final TV appearance on Saturday as he appeared on the last show of auditions in which the 40 Live semi-finalists were revealed Viewers of ITV primetime favor took to Twitter to gush how much they were doing to Miss Ant when the live shows begin on Monday as Declan Donnelly prepares to host the show solo for the first time Ant took a break from presenting duties following his drink drive arrest in March and after entering rehab there has been no confirmation when he will return to TV It was certainly a spectacular end to the auditions as Ant in December joined the judging panel on stage to dance along to DJ Murray's mix of tunes, with Ant finishing the show by saying it couldn't have ended any better Viewers seemed to agree as they gushed on social media how much they were going to miss Ant, though others were quick to express the assurance that December would do a good job One viewer tweeted, last auditions, last time with Ant while another added, so tonight is the last time we'll see Ant McPartlin on number BGT A third wrote, I can't believe I'm actually crying. I'm feeling so emotional. Number BGT I'm gonna miss Ant number supporting Ant Wishing December the best of luck with his hosting skills ahead of the Live shows on Monday Another fan tweeted, December will absolutely smash the Live shows But Ant will be a massive miss In the light of Ant stepping down from his television commitments following his second rehab stint, December discussed the monetary impact of going it alone He told The Sun's TV mag, a couple of years ago our management said, have you considered key man insurance, because if something were to happen to the other one, your income would probably stop You're not going to work on your own. We were like, what do you mean, not going to work on our own? Then someone went, no, no, or it's just for some money to come in while you decide what to do We preferred that version. The interview follows reports Ant had moved into a £4. 5 million mansion as he continues to get treatment following his drink driving conviction in April. According to The Sun, Ant moved from the West London home he was renting following the split from wife Lisa Armstrong to a more tranquil abode, 8 miles away. Ant has been back in rehabilitation for drink and drug-related problems, leaving December to make his first red carpet appearance alone at the recent BAFTA TV Awards The troubled star was recently fined a record £86,000 and banned from the road for one year and eight months after pleading guilty to drink driving It proved to be a tense evening as the 182 acts who made it through the auditions waited nervously while the judges Simon Cowell, Amanda Holden, Alesha Dixon and David Williams deliberated over which 35 to send through to the live semi-finals They would join the five acts who had already earned their places be receiving one of the gold buzzers, and these were magician Mark Spellman, singer Donches Dassers, opera performer Gruff Edwin Roberts, father-son singing duo Jack and Tim and singer Litford Schillingford It took much debate between the panel, but eventually the 35 acts were revealed with the first eight set to perform in Monday's semi-final which will see December host alone for the first time Among those who made it through were the Manchester-based dance troupe Prize Unbroken, who moved the nation with their routine which featured Holly Booth who was left with permanent injuries following the horrific arena bombing last year Others were fan-favorite Lost Voice Guy, 
who also had the backing of Ant in December due to his Newcastle roots and daredevil Matt Johnson, who left fans on the edge of their seats with his death-defying water tank stunt. And among the slew of singers who made it through were the Irish father Ray Kelly, budding boy band made up North and big band singing duo The Rat Packers. The results came as the auditions came to a close with a slew of different acts. UP first were the St. Lawrence's Primary School Choir from the tiny northern Irish village of Finlay, and the 48 strong group enchanted the panel with their rendition of the Willy Wonka classic Pure Imagination. Simon said, I really like that song. I like that movie. I think you've got great voices. Really, really good audition, guys. David added, You've got such beauty and purity in your voices. I thought it was lovely, and the audience were hanging on to every single word. And earning four yeses from the panel, Alesha also said, I liked how you look at your teacher like you adore her. You represented Ireland in your school beautifully. Showcasing a dance acrobatics magic tricks hybrid were the Spotlight Stage School from Birmingham, who were difficult to miss in their glitter covered rainbow leotards. After their spellbending audition which earned another four yeses Amanda said, what is there not like about you guys, the way you present yourselves, the formations, the tricks, it was fantastic. David added, it was in a word magic. Following such an uplifting audition it was a shock for the panel to then welcome an army of zummies to the stage who turned to be a street dance style troupe. The group titled Futunity certainly won over the panel, with David saying, this was a fantastic idea brilliantly executed so well done. Simon added, a zombie has never won BGT before, and I said, if there's one thing we're looking for this year it's a zombie. Following years of hoping that Britain's Got Talent would one day find a dancing dog, Simon finally got his wish through the next audition, but not in the way he expected. Dudley the dancing dog took to the stage to show off his Irish dancing skills, with Amanda describing it as Simon's dream come true. Meanwhile the music mogul described the audition as different and added 12 years and it has come down to this as before the character earned four yeses. Next up was comedian Nick Page, who was looking to finally make the big time after 16 years of gigging. Speaking about the origins of his comedy skills he said, it started for a bet after a stag do, and then I quit my job as an estate agent. Now I'm mostly schlepping around the country doing all the terrible gigs. The dream for me is to take the next step I have been basically too afraid to take. The audition started well before Nick was heckled by two members of the audience, but luckily he didn't let it derail the performance as he immediately quipped, it's nice to see all my ex-fiancés have bought tickets. Following the end of his performance, Simon said, I do admire you, when you got heckled, the minute you got the better of them you got better. You have my respect for that. David added that he thought Nick was very memorable saying he believed he had a huge career ahead. Up next were brothers Shaquille and Shamir Reyes, who were auditioning separately with different talents. Shaquille, 20, was up first singing and playing the piano over an original song about his dad called Crescent. Despite some doubt over his confidence, the panel agreed he had something special, with Alesha adding that his confidence would come with practice.
after his brother earned four yeses, Shamir, 19, was up next, but in stark contrast to his brother the teen delivered a body-popping dance routine as a deformed doll It was certainly a show's topping performance as Simon said, on a show like this, if you're a dancer, it's not about what's technically good it's what you can make a statement in two minutes Seriously good. Alesha added, your music choices are fantastic. I love you're just a raw talent and a breath of fresh air. Before he received four yeses. And in the final audition of the series, DJ Murray Min took to the stage from the mysterious land of San Francisco or Middlesbrough. Delivering a medley of 70s classics he got the judges and Ant and December up on the stage to show off their skills, including the famous movements to the Jacksons' Blame It on the Boogie, 